All right, this is another tutorial by King Ben. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a web server from your home PC to host uh, web pages. First thing you're going to do is go to Firefox or Internet Explorer. You have to create an account with DYNDNS. After you create the account with them, you're going to go to add host services here you're gonna type your host name I'm gonna put King Benin I'm gonna put uh, whatever extension you want I'm gonna be selfip.com host with IP address if you don't know your IP address you can go to what is my IP and then here's your IP address or you can use the auto detect alright now create your host alright mine already exists alright next thing you're gonna wanna do is download Apache HTTP server download from Amir leave this as default we're gonna download the open SSL save the file alright well that's downloading we gotta download another file dyndns updater and download now save file Okay. All right, this uh, this uh, DYN setup. Double click it. Run. Next. Agree. And then just input your uh, password here. That's uh, your password for the DYNDNS uh, web page. OK. And then there's your uh, website that you wanted to create. Apply. OK. Now we have to install Apache. Double click it. Click Next. Accept your terms. Next again. All right, here you're going to put your this site here you're just gonna right click it and copy selected host name to clipboard and then just uh, press control V and that will just input that for you and then type your uh, email address there go next oh this uh, port 80 here I'll show you what that is later and then typical next install you're going to see a couple uh, DOS screens I think it's about three alright finish and then we're going to test to see if it works go to your Firefox And uh, put in your uh, web page up here. There, and then it works. If it doesn't work, then go CMD. Type IP config slash all. Whoops. And then up here you're going to see uh, IPv4 address. Copy this down. 
192.168.1.106 and copy down the default gateway. Now this default gateway number you're going to put it in here. 192. Alright, I have a Linksys so if you have a different router it'll be a different setup so you might just have to kind of click around until you see this screen. Here it's applications and gaming. So you're going to open up port 80. And you're going to select, select both. And that uh, that uh, IPv4 number you're going to put here 192.168.1.106 and then click enable and then save the settings. and then it works. Now all this information is saved in the uh, computer, C drive, program files, Apache. All right, all the files that you want to uh, show people is going to be in htdocs and that's your index. Do not delete your index. I had to figure it out the hard way. When you go and you host a web page you're gonna actually overwrite your index so you're gonna go yeah I'll show you here alright if this comes back up again, you gotta delete your cache. Right, just reload that. There you go. And that's it. Uh, I actually have a bunch of stuff there. And there you go. And there's my other YouTube video. So if you guys want, you know, you can uh, visit my other YouTube video. It's always a big bonus. Leave a comment. All right, and uh, in the next tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to uh, index, or sorry, uh, edit your index so you can do all this. I'm going to be using the program uh, Dreamweaver. It's a pretty good program. they got a lot of templates in it. So if you don't know anything about uh, web building, you know, templates are always good. I just started doing this uh, three days ago, so I watch a lot of YouTube videos. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Please rate my videos so other people uh, can find this as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.